equipment we're going to use to do our titration. We have beakers of acid and base, a funnel, a pipette filler, conical flask, white tile, distilled water, a burette and a pipette in a stand. First we need to fill our burette. Make sure the stopcock down the bottom is closed and you place the funnel in the top of the burette. We're assuming the burette is already being rinsed with the solution we're using, in this case it's base. Gently lift the funnel to allow air to flow in and out. Slowly tip in your solution into the burette using the funnel to guide it in. You fill up until you get to around about 5 mils in the burette. You don't need to get to zero, uh, that's not necessary. Once you've added, you uh, shake your funnel a little bit to get rid of any uh, final drips. Then you place the funnel in your beaker. Now we're going to look at how to use a pet filler. There are several valves on the pet filler. We're going to use the one at the top. You squeeze that and press in on the bulb and that evacuates the bulb and allows you to suck up solution. You then place the pipette filler on the end of the pipette carefully. Carefully place your pipette into the solution, making sure it's not touching the bottom of the beaker. You then press the uh, valve that's directly underneath the bulb to start sucking up solution. Keep sucking until you go well above the graduation line. Remove the pipette filler and use your finger on top of the pipette, gently moving the pipette to let a little bit of air in until you get the uh, meniscus exactly on the graduated line. Place the pipette over the conical flask you intend on using and remove your finger. Let the pipette drain out, usually pointing it at the side of the conical flask. As it drains out, it will get down to the bottom. Gently tap it to the side of the conical flask to remove any last drops on the end. There should be one drop remaining in the bottom of the pipette. Leave that there. Before using the bread, check for an air bubble in the bottom. Now to get rid of the air bubble, place uh, the beaker of uh, in this case base underneath and gently open the stopcock and close it. That will get rid of the air bubble down the bottom so that we have the right volume in the burette. Read off your initial value, in this case 3.8 mils. Add several drops of indicator, in this case phenol phthalene. Drop, drop, drop. Place the conical flask underneath the bottom of the burette. And get the position of the burette so that you can easily access the stopcock. This grip allows you to control the flow of solution and also swirl the conical flask as you add solution. So gently open the tap, swirl the conical flask as you're adding and keep doing this. Control the flow rate so to a few drops every second or so. You'll start to see the solution at the bottom change colour as the drops are added. Keep adding and swirling, adding and swirling looking for the pink colour to start to hang around a bit longer before it disappears. As you get closer and closer to the end point, it's a good idea to rinse off the inside of the conical flask and the end of the burette to make sure that all the uh, solution added from the burette makes its way into the uh, mixture down the bottom. Give it a good swirl once you've done that. Really close now, we're getting a pink colour that's hanging around for quite a while before it disappears. So again, we're adding drop by drop at this stage. Rinse off the burette. In this case, we're rinsing off the end of the burette to get the last drop in there. Rinse off the side of the conical flask as well is a good idea. Give it a shake and see if the pink colour hangs around or disappears. In this case, once we let it sit for a little while, the pink colour does slowly disappear. So we need to add about one more drop. So very carefully, we're going to add in a drop. And there it is. It's right on the end of the burette. Give the burette a bit of a tap to see if it goes in. It doesn't, so we're just going to rinse off the end of the burette. Give it a shake and see what happens to the colour. So we've got our pink colour that we're looking for, give it a shake, let it sit, and pop the tile behind it, and that's a permanent colour change. So that's the end point of the titration. Read off the final value for the burette, in this case 24.9 millilitres. Today on Flipping Science we did an example titration. That's it Flipping Science today, see ya!